I saw that uh, Brent here is on the live stream, and uh, Brent actually emailed me a question a couple of days ago. So I oh. thought we could talk about this since also you, your um, um, Saving Wire brought this up. So oh, yes. <laughs> they comment yeah, to Saving okay. Wire. So um, Brent, <clears throat> excuse me, sent me a message. It says, I made myself some radials from 14 gauge wire to use with my 17 foot whip portable ground mount antenna. I bought a small roll of wire to give myself just what I needed. That is a 50 foot roll. The downside is the wire has a lot of tight memory. I thought about using my heat gun to warm the wire and try stretching it out, but feared making a mess of the shield. Any tips on straightening wire better or so it'll stretch neater on the ground? Yeah, um, you, made, you made a, <laughs> well, you made a choice. And now you got to deal with the consequences while Michael's dying there. So what he's oh, talking about, uh, wire has a memory. It will retain its shape. Mm -hmm. Even if you pull it out, it will retain its shape. I've demoed wire that's been in conduit for 40, 50 years, and I pull it out, and it coils right back up. You know, it's, it's very easy to coil right back up into the shape. So when you get a small spool of wire, a 50-foot one, um, and you take long lengths of it, it's going to, it's going to want to curl right up like curly fries. Yep. And it drives you nuts. Um, I used to like save scraps at the end of a spool from work and I'd bring them home and I used for something. And you can't do it. It's junk. Just, just toss it out. Um, so what Brent is saying is if he heats it up, will it straighten out? And the answer is you got to get it pretty hot. I, yeah. and especially if it's a long wire, you're going to be sitting there all day. And I don't think you're going to get it hot enough. You can try it. Let us know. Um, but I don't think, and Michael talked about, you could try working it out. And, and I, again, yeah, you might be out of luck on that one. Yeah, even, on yeah. a, even on a 500 foot spool of wire, the last hundred feet is going to be junk. If you're going to use it for radios. It is. It, the last, it yeah, last one. And it's, yeah, speaking of which, I built an antenna. I was using the end of the end of the spool. And uh, it was a 40 meter antenna. So one leg was really nice and it laid very well. But then the second half, which was off of the last probably 75 feet or so of wire, just, yeah, it started to look like, and, and when, I, when I unroll wire, I always do it. You, know, you want to pull off the roll. You don't want it. You don't want it to come off sideways. Uh, because that'll, uh, you want the wire to always come off the, the spool the same way it goes on the spool. And that's mm. one way to, that's one way to help reduce the memory effect is to pull it off the same way it goes on. So, but still pulling it off that way, the wire looked like, like curly fries from yeah. Arby's. It was, they were, it were, it was tight and, um, and, and a mess and, um, they still worked fine. But it was a it, it's a pain in the butt to to, to work. Right. You, and almost it, have to, you almost have to stake it down when you use it. Yeah, it took me about two years of using this antenna and working the wire. You know, unwinding it and and winding it back up. And when I wind it back up, I'm using that over under method so that you can kind of so that it it sort of holds whatever kind of shape it you want it to. And it's now it's halfway decent. But you can still tell it's 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 the end of the roll, and um, you might be able to work it, you know, <laughs> you know, with a lot with a lot of that, a lot of patience and perseverance. But um, yeah, there's no easy way to get that memory out of wire. Yeah, it's that's a that's a tough one there. Um, let us know how it <laughs> works, but um, you need to make buddy buddy with an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if you could clip the far end of the ground using hardwire stakes. Um, they call these things garden staples. They're about this, you know, about four inches, and um, mm -hmm. you can uh, you could use that to kind of stake them down uh, so that it doesn't doesn't coil up. Yeah, uh, garden staples, um, cheap tent stakes. You could try that yeah. as well. Yep, um, that would work too. Go, yeah, mm -hmm. but then of course you leave it out there, and someone's going to run it over the lawnmower, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, but if it's a portable thing, or yeah, maybe just stake the ends. You know, if if you're just if it's just up temporary, you know, whatever whatever you can whatever you need to do to to lay it lay it reasonably flat. So yeah. so. 
no, sorry we don't have, you know, a better solution than that, but uh, I know I like to use, I like to use end scraps, and that's one of the things, yeah, that's one of the problems with using the ends of wire is mm -hmm. that you end up with uh, you the, the dreaded, the dreaded um, sure. memory, so. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.